Jean-Claude Trichet, welcome. You are former governor of the Bank of France and, of course, governor of the European Central Bank. And a great disciplinarian, I seem to remember, on fiscal matters. But if one looks at Finland now, Finland has done everything required of it, and yet its recession is almost as bad as Greece's. What has gone wrong? Well, I uh, would say that uh, not only uh, particularly on Finland, but when, when you have problems of that kind, it is very often that you still have structural reforms to implement. And uh, I've always told, been told by my friends uh, in Finland that they had a functioning of the labor market which is not good and materializes in precisely this kind of, uh, I would say, growth which is uh, unsatisfactory and also a level of unemployment which is uh, not satisfactory. My country is more or less in the same position where you, you have an obligation to embark in structural reforms that should be, uh, I would say, very bold, I have to say, but are absolutely necessary if you want to create more growth and more jobs. So this is really a political challenge rather than an economic or challenge for central bank? Well, it's both. It's both an economic challenge. It's a challenge for the social partners because it has to be accepted uh, by the social partners as the only way to create really uh, growth and jobs. And of course, it needs uh, a political courage because in the very short run, it hurts uh, some, uh, I would say, vested interest or supposed vested interest. In the medium run, and certainly in the long run, experience demonstrates that those countries that are embarking in those reforms are rewarded mm -hmm. and that once it is done, there is a consensus to preserve it and maintain it. And I'm very, very uh, impressed by uh, what you see, for instance, in Denmark. Uh, Denmark is a Scandinavian country. You, if you compare with Finland, also a Scandinavian country, you see uh, that there, there are uh, ways of getting out yeah. of the difficulty. That's a very good point. What do you think the role of the WPC can be in this sort of things? You have these discussions all the time about um, the global governance and the global economy. Um, is it helpful? I think uh, WBC is very, very helpful, obviously, because it concentrates uh, since the very beginning on global governance, as the title uh, suggests. And I, we trust, uh, and I trust personally, that uh, global governance is more important than ever in the present world because we have so many dramatic structural changes. Globalization on the one hand, of course, global governance uh, associated with globalization is of the essence, but we also have these new challenges of science and technology, the IT revolution, which is really galloping and is transforming everything in the world, including all the, uh, I would say, production processes. And you also have, of course, the new geopolitical challenges including very unfortunately uh, terrorism, which uh, was mentioned uh, in the session today. So all this creates an absolute need for improving global governance. Jean-Claude Fichet, thank you so much. Thank you.